Alright, uh, this video I'll be showing off my uh, research with my HHO generators. This is my uh, first version. It's basically just a Coke can with a couple uh, conductors in it. You know, nasty, gunky water, baking soda in it to make it electrolyte. A cathode, my anode. And it's actually a bunch of still wool on the outside of that pipe there. Get down in there, you. Trying to make a HHO generator, or I don't know if that's what you want to call it. <coughs> this is how it looks. Not bad from one of my uh, first models. Once it kicks in. Okay. You seem to be having some problems with my power supply. Oh, there she goes. It's glitched down on me, I guess. Mmm, dizzy. Well, I plan on actually capping it with this piece here. With some hot glue. Putting a little hole in it somewhere. And try to find some way of extracting the gases. <laughs> it's not explosive though, it's like, it's like, fizzy. Oh man, I missed that one big bubble right there in the middle. Anyway, this is, uh, my generation one. I'm curious as to how much this is drawing. Or at least how much it dropped the voltage down to. Took 12 volt power supply down to 10 volts. Oh, I'm trying to get to work. Try to cap it off and see what I can do. Alright, this is my uh, closed cell design. Got it running now. This thing is actually producing. So you can see fizzing overflowing here. That's so cool. Once it's warmed up, it actually is getting kind of warm. And Whoa, the big bubble! Let me get that one. Ah, missed it. The bubble is huge. Whoa, that was cool. Another. That's so cool. Oh, these little prototypes. For how long the hot glue would stay. I got steel wool in it, it seems to show signs of corrosion like very soon here. So I'm going to do some experiments with different metals, but I'm surprised that, you know, for the size thing, really being this small is reacting pretty well. I'm going to let it run for a while and see how uh, durability works on this thing. Alright, after five minutes of running, produced a little bit of gas, but I've noticed one thing right off. It is very hot. Ow. In fact, it's too hot to hold for longer than a few seconds. It's that's actually bad news when it comes to uh, HHO generators. If it gets hot, that's a sign that it's turning too much electricity to get into heat and not the gases that you're wanting it to make. So its efficiency is really low. 
Okay, what I'm really trying to say at this point is the hotter it is, the less efficient it is because it's turning the electricity into heat and not the gases you're looking for. So if it's hotter, just work on your uh, model to get a more efficient system. Looks like I'm off to try to make a more efficient model. Not bad for an alpha. Alpha 2.0, I guess. I mean, I guess when I had this in there, I guess 1.0. But, uh, I got some copper. I'm thinking maybe its resistive properties, you know, being less resistant than aluminum will help. And instead of just having one big outer rim of one plate in a big core, just single core, we have a bunch of little rings. We have one ring positive, one ring negative, one ring positive, one ring negative, and so so on and so forth. Let's see how that works out. All right, I got beta hooked up here. Look at the core. It's got an inner lining of copper, outer lining of aluminum. So this little mesh project stuff here. I'm hoping this will be a, a little bit of an improvement. Find out the flick of the switch. Oh wow! All right. At this point, I noticed that the water was getting kind of getting kind of crusty. And uh, I realized at this point I should be doing some more research on this. I should have did research before deciding to do all these little experimentations. But the problem was I have aluminum and, and copper as my anode and cathode. And those deteriorate with uh, electrochemistry. So I'm going to have to invest in getting some stainless steel, titanium, or platinum. And Well, I can't afford the other the last two there, the titanium and platinum. So I'm going to have to get me some stainless steel before... Uh, doing any more crazy little experiments. Turns out third, tries a t uh, third time is a charm. Significantly smaller than the counterpart. Found out that using, uh, found out using copper wasn't such a great idea. For whatever reason. I'll figure it out. Do some research and figure it out. Ah, stop moving on me. Stay. Watch how much gas this thing puts out. So much I'd turn it off to keep it from overflowing. Again, I'm using uh, aluminum and copper, but I just put it on a small scale to see what exactly is happening. I put it in my little clear vial here. Tiny little bottle. So much gas. I don't have a uh, a clamp on my meter here. I'd, I'd measure how much that's using to produce that. Using a computer power supply, so can't be no more than 240 watts. I'm looking to uh, get some equipment once I get some money and actually do some larger scale testing and possibly even make something for my car. I'd love to do that. So then, this is about as big as I can go, or about as fancy or you know high tech, high end, end product ish as I can go. I might try to make something bigger for the heck of it. But, uh, I think this ends my road until I get some more funds to get some more product to play with. Hope you enjoyed.